Good morning, Calvary. Happy Wednesday. It's Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, we've been talking about Joseph for uh, several uh, days now, and we're kind of continuing his story. And, and Joseph is second in command in Egypt. He's been reunited with his brothers. Uh, and, and now he tells them there's five more years of famine. So you need to go back to dad, to Jacob. Now he's called Israel. And you need to bring him and all your families down to Egypt where we can take care of you. Pharaoh seconds that, says, look, I'll send wagons to move them. I'll send all kinds of food with you so that you can bring your family and I'll give your family the best land in our nation. And so uh, Joseph does that. He sends the wagons up to get his dad. Uh, and, and think about this. Uh, Jacob is just completely surprised because he thinks his son Joseph is dead and his sons, other sons come home and say, guess what? Your son Joseph is alive and we're moving to Egypt. <laughs> and so Jacob loads up the family. Actually, the family loads up Jacob because he's old. And, and they get ready to move to Egypt. And God speaks to Jacob again. And God affirms his move to Egypt and says, look, I'm going to bless you there. You're going to go there and, you're, and the, your, your family is going to grow into a great nation. And I'm going to take you out of there and bring you back to this land where you're living. And by the way, God fulfills his promise about 430 years later uh, is when the Exodus event happens and God establishes Israel as a nation where they are today. So uh, God always keeps his promises, by the way. So what's the point? Here's something I want you to think about. Jacob had life figured out. He'd gotten older. He was settled. He kind of thought he knew how life was going to play out. And then, surprise, your son Joseph, who you thought was dead, he's alive and he's in charge of a nation and we're moving. You may think that you have life figured out. You may be old. You may be settled and think this is how life is going to be. But can I just remind you that God is still working in your life? God is still redeeming your life. God is still wanting to build his kingdom through your life, to bless people through your life. So God may unsettle you. It may not mean that you have to move, but God may want your life a little bit unsettled because he may have plans for you that you don't know about. He may want to use you in ways that you haven't thought about. He may have a task for you that you thought you were done with. Never be surprised at how God wants to surprise you if you're his willing servant. So today I'm hoping and praying that you are his willing servant and don't be surprised if God decides to unsettle you in some way. Don't, don't freak out about that. Don't think you're too old. Don't think life can't change. But if God does surprise you, trust him because he's going to bless you and because his promises are true and always because the best as a follower of Jesus is yet to come. I hope that helps and I hope that blesses you. Have a great day.